All right, so we're back. <clears throat> uh, since we finish uh, the Free Star Ranges, things out here always need fixes. Since we finished the Free Star Ranges quest line, um, I decided before I just rush into the next major quest line, just you know do some more exploring and stuff. So uh, that's what I've been doing. So we are. Show you where we are. So we are in the Boar system. It's a level 75 system. And we are right on the edge of... of all the stars, the various systems, right? So this is about as farthest as I can get from my home system, which is uh, Eridani. <laughs> How far is it? It's uh, Aridani. It's a hundred and hundred and forty light years. Okay, so it's pretty far. It's pretty far. All right, so I got way over here, and it's a uh, it's a uh, level seventy five system. Now, what I want to show you guys is I've been making a lot of changes to my ship as well. Joe's uh, weighing you down. I may be willing to buy. You got credits, credits. we got supplies. Alright, now I just want to show these guys my ship. So this guy, you know, you can he's a ship technician actually, slash trader. I guess he's a, a do it all. You know we you buy know, most of our ship parts, parts from visitors, visitors like yourself. Alright, so If you look here, as you can see there's been some changes, right? Um, so the first thing is my ship is now a Class C ship. It used to be Class B. Uh, I was just playing around, looking at some of the Class C. Um, uh, what the word is again? I keep forgetting the name of the word. The thing where the houses all your power, the reactor. So I was looking at the Class C reactors, and I don't know, for some reason I just tried to attach in my ship, and it attached, and I, I was like, I didn't realize that I even had my Class C license. Well, I did. <laughs> um, and I think it's one of those things, I don't know if it's a glitch or what. Um, sorry. We might have some. I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but sometimes if you trying to rank up a level 3 perk when you um, finish doing the requirements to rank up the level 3 I've noticed that sometimes the class, the level 4 would appear and if you select the level 4 it, from what I've observed, I could be wrong I think it only takes one skill point and it basically gives you those two skills for the price of one skill point so I've noticed, so I think that happened when I went to upgrade to, I think like a class uh, B license. And I might have pressed, I saw the class C was available, but I think I pressed it just for one skill point and I got all two. So, um, yeah, so I had to put in a, a larger, um, so I put in the reactor, which is down in this corner over here. Again, let me show you. So this is the reactor here. Um, I'm still using my Class B shield generator, which works just fine. It gives me... Um... In fact, I'll show you. Alright, so let's... Uh... So I'm still using my, um... my Class B shield generator, which gives me 1500. Um, in shield capacity, the best class C shield generator goes up to 1600, so it's not really that much of a difference. My hull strength is very strong. Look at my weapons. My particle weapons, I always had this. 
I have two of the um, turrets now. I was thinking about upgrading these, but I really don't have to, to be honest. But this, the missiles, I have equipped, in essence, the most powerful missile rack in the entire game, I think. Alright, and this damage, um, is it this one? It's not, no, actually I think it's not this one, it's the, I, I can't remember to be honest, but anyway, but just look at this damage, it's insane. <laughs> uh, my mass crew is 8, and look at my mass, this is the most important, well one of the most important things, my mass is very small for a class C ship. If you look at other ships that have these stats, oh I have a 30 year jump range, full mobility, full top, top speed is 140, cargo 3000. Okay, so if you look at other YouTube videos at ships in this category that have these same stats, this is tripled. This this is like up well doubled. This is up to like four thousand mass. It's insane. But my mass is only seventeen hundred, and so it's it's basically you know it's a very nimble ship, and that's how I like it. It's still sleek. My inside layout is exactly the same as it always was. Alright, so there are no ladders. It's just an open floor plan. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. I had to add in uh, some additional, um, so I had to add in this. And I added another one. Uh, these are called, uh, the gear. Uh, because uh, the ship is heavier than it was before. And so I had to add those in. I added in more cargo capacity in the back here, and I added in two more of these engines. All right, and so these are my missile racks here. I had to add more fuel capacity as well. All right, and so um, it is really something I, I like how I'm able to hide the reactor and the grav drive down in the, you know, down on the sides like that. So they, like on the side of the ship, like, you know, so it doesn't really detract from the beauty of the vessel, which I think is quite beautiful, <laughs> you know. Um, and it's just great. Now that I have these two turrets on the top, any ship that gets behind me, they, these going to automatically engage. And that's very important because, you know, in this game you got swarmed with a lot of ships. If they get behind you and these start to engage them, the ship would go into a defensive mode, so they'll like boost away or whatever the case may be. And if they're in defensive mode, it means they're not attacking, so that's good. And so um, my primary weapon remains uh, my particle beams, I have four of them. But I put in the rocket launches because I just like them and they're cool. Alright, so yeah, so it's a class C vessel. And you know, just look at the stats. The fuel is 420. The hull is 1400, cargo is 4000. Even though it says 4000, even though it says 3000, cargo is already 4000 because I have some skills there. My crew is 8. And again, um, anyway, let's, let's, let's get into it. Look at the value still is only 84, 86,000. Uh, uh, Alright, so. We have to protect ourselves here, and believe me, we will. All right, so um, let's let's try to do something while we're out here. This is one of the coolest civilian outposts I've seen, actually. And this planet um, has an atmosphere, a breathable atmosphere. It's pretty good. So let's just um, see what we have available. So we'll take that. Uh, let's make it. Got some new um, weapons as well. All right, so let's make this number one, and we'll do that. Hello.
as I said, this is a breathable atmosphere. So these are the scientists. They're out here doing this stuff. This planet is pretty cool, actually. I, I think I may consider setting up an outpost here. Just because it's literally on the opposite side of... Well, I don't want to say the galaxy, but the opposite side of... As far as way from my other outposts as humanly as physically possible uh, so let's go back to my ship so you know yeah just look out here this is amazing. And look, the structures everywhere. You know? So I, I like this. I'm gonna definitely have some fun. So let's, let's get ready to board the late. Planets like these, these are my favorite. favorite. Mine's too. Alright, oh, so it's, I guess it's snowing. So this is, uh, let's look at it. I, I just love my ship. <laughs> You know, and even though, like I said, I had to add some additional uh, landing thrusters and supports uh, because she's heavier than she was. But I encourage you, look at those other videos with class C ships. I uh, this, this, according to those other videos with those same st um, stats, ships with those stats, they consider those as like end game ships. And so look at how heavy those other ships are and how bulky and, you know, a bunch of ladders all over the place. This doesn't have any of that. I, I really like it. I really like it. Now, because I was in the ship builder mode, they may have reset some of my stuff. We'll see. Oh, no, they didn't. Yeah. Because you notice I like to keep my doors open. And they will stay open as long as you don't, um, you know add any pieces to the ship whenever you add something new to the ship uh, the doors will will all close up you know and look see i still get my windows everywhere which you know it's, it's i just love it i really do you know i really do so this is a class c vessel which i think is an end an end game type vessel but um it's so simple it's just one simple layout the left wing and the right wing and and that's it you know so i get my workbenches in here look like bart he's doing some work and this is the main uh sort of crew hangout area and so I get my start. It's my engineer. It's a beautiful day, huh? Yes, it. Well, you keep saying What's going that. On? It's kind of snowing outside, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So this is Omari, my engineer. He's good with shields, and this is Rosie, my doctor. So um, she's like you know, Doctor Crusher. I'm really happy to see you. All right, it's good to see you too. And I was able to. Uh, so. reassign Gideon, remember Gideon? He's the missiles guy. And so this car, we all like car, you know. So Gideon, he's back to work uh, because I'm able to have more crew slots now. Because hey I Glad to see you again. I increased that skill. And of course, there's Sarah. And so, you know, it's just, I like how the crew, they're walking about, doing their work and everything. It, it really it does a lot for the role playing. You know, it really does. All right, so let's do a quick side mission. So, if you take a look at uh, my stats in the bottom left corner, my particle 
beams are maxed out. My missiles, I don't need them to be maxed out. Um, and the second set of particle weapons would be my turrets, uh, my engines, my shields. Everything is great. <laughs> Everything is great. All right, so let's try to find this bad guy. My ship speed is much faster now too, so if I increase this to max, my ship speed is up to 166, you know, that's insane. You know, so I'm really in a, in a dogfight, um, quite capable. Alright, so, let's see. Back A. How's it going? Going good. All right. So if you look out side, I saw. Yeah, so this is a Crimson Fleet base. You see that? So the guy I'm after, he's, I guess he's Crimson Fleet. Sometimes, like you see that right there? I went to a base like this before. Sometimes that opens up and ships land inside there. I was actually inside of one of those so when, that, when that happened. Uh, we can chat later, Amari. Uh, so Sam, let's go. Let's do this. So collect the. He's a pirate legend. Okay, so he's probably going to be a no very. Deadlock. Plenty of them in the starfield. He's probably going to be a very high rank. So. Uh, Wait a minute, that's him right there. Look, he's a rank 94. Sorry, no, no, rank 50. He's 94. <laughs> uh, he's a rank 50. He was 94 meters away, so. Is this our guy? I can't see him. I guess he's in the building. He's not moving. Damn, you scared me this a while ago. Sam, I think I need to put your orange suit back on, because I can't recognize you in this. Okay, All let's... right, let's get back to that bank vault. Happy to even up the load. Yeah, let's... Uh...
put your RNC back on. Where, where is it? Yeah, so equip that one. Oh, yep. so it finally works. You know, <laughs> the reason I gave this suit to him, because it has the perk when he ducks down, he turns invisible. But it never worked, but now it's working now. Alright, so let's... Oh, he's in the elevator. Uh, sometime today, Sam. Aha! So finally it works. Wow, you know how long I had him in that suit and he wasn't... I'll see my latest rifle. Nobody I like using. There. Nope, nobody's here. Go about your business. Where's the target? He's down there. Get there. All right, so once we open this up, I think they're going to start to notice us. Ah, now he's a 98. So I need to switch to something a little bit more powerful. That guy was pretty brave. Didn't want this to take so long.
whoa, whoa. You guys... Make sure nobody's running up on me. me bleeding Ooh. okay I'm good am I still bleeding oh okay stop bleeding Okay, we gotta get out of here. I didn't want to spend forever down here. Let's just check out the legend. Where was he? Down here? Me. A sniper. What kind of sniper is this? I'll take it. Who's shooting at me? You? shooting
I might give that to one of my crew. All right, Tom, you go. Just picked up another high-level sniper. Like Corporations don't like people playing with their toys. Alright. Whoa, why aren't you just talking, Barrett? I guess you're talking to sleep. Anyway, you guys can sleep. Doc? Ah, oh, hey, Captain. Alright, so. Hanging out here. Always happy to meet a stranger. Hope my singing was to your liking. You know, your song, <laughs> it made my day. that about all right so what is next no anything else in this region Okay, that's kind of far away. Uh, let's start. Let's go here for now. You guys, some space combat. That is a level 75 system, also. Yeah, I'm pretty far out. Okay, let's go 
to the Crick system. Yeah, so this is the Crimson Fleet hideout. I've been here a few times before. Uh, whenever you come here, well, the first time I came here, I was attacked and my ship was destroyed. Uh, I've been back a few times since. This is a good place to sort of come and just practice your dogfighting. Like I said, the first time I came here, I was utterly destroyed. Uh, the second time I came, my ship was more powerful and I was able to defeat them, but just barely. But now, you know, it's a different story now. <laughs> or something. Doctor frame, nuclear. <laughs> yeah, so there's uh, the Crimson Fleet base is here somewhere. Ah, there it is. But I can't, I can't go there. What are you hailing for? Land in the key or don't? <sighs> yeah. I think I need to trigger a mission in order to actually dock. You know, so I can come here, destroy the entire fleet, but I can't actually dock in the station. Alright, so what do we do? Um, Deserted mineral plant? Oh, let's see, where is that? Makeshift encampment, civilian outposts, abandoned biotics facility, and whoa, in the South Pole.
Need something? Is this a guy like right here? Oh, I can't. I think there's someone just waiting there. All right, Anything so. Anything I can help you with, Captain? Let's put, yeah, let's put that in there. I keep this. Where's the other one? Wait, this one I just picked up, right? No, this this is my one. Oh yeah, this is the one. Four thirty-five. You know what? Mm. I, oh, it comes with whiteout rounds. That's cool. Okay, so maybe I could max this one out in a different way. Yeah, because I already have a hard target, which is my fire sniper. All right. And so, but maybe I'll max this one out in a different way. So, I'll play around with that a little later. Happy to listen. Um, a little later. All right. Very good to see you. Good to see you too. Life in all its many colored glory. Is that oh this planet has atmosphere wow I did not expect that so we know we gotta check them out right we'll come back to do come back to the base. Oh, that's doesn't have light atmosphere, so but I, this planet has life. And toxic gas. Oh, huh. a lot of activity around here. This is what I love about this game, man. Unexpected things like this happen. Anybody um, on the outside? What, what type of ship is this? Hello. Looks pretty cool, actually. I like it. Nova Galactic. There's nobody here. see Vanguard so it's not a pirate ship can I come aboard <sighs> home sweet home oh okay it's not a pirate ship you're not a pirate you're the captain Make yourself at home, stranger. I'm okay with visitors on my ship, so long as you follow the rules. Good job. I can do that. Well, will you look at that? A space explorer who respects the chain of command. Ha! <laughs> I like you. Maybe I'll let you stay and admire the ship up close. She's got a few scars, but that just adds character. 
Yeah. Um, so what else do you have to uh, say? I need a cup of coffee to do this work. A cup of moonshine wouldn't hurt either. Oh, so those are the... Anybody else on your ship? Nope. What's up there? Nothing. Oh, so this is sleeping quarters. Okay, it's a nice little setup you got going on here. Hmm, interesting. It looks pretty big from outside, but I guess you have a lot of... I guess cargo room and stuff? Anyway, it was nice to meet you, Captain. I gotta go. Alright, so let's head back. Uh, let's do this the quick way. So let's go take out this, this bad guy. <clears throat> well, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff and close proximity all around here. I like that actually. Yes. Well, where did he go? Tom, you just can't run out there like that. Like a lot of dangerous gases in here. I can't get past the fire. Who's shooting?
What is this? I'll take that. Whoop. Yes. Permanent increases capacity. Yep. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take it. Surgical material. All right, so the guy should be right outside him. Yeah. Oh, he's above us. Says exit. No, or if we need to go upstairs. Okay, so we need to go upstairs, right? Was there another door? Okay. Sam, <laughs> don't do stuff like that, Sam. Oh! Secure access. Oh, so maybe you get upstairs this way. I don't have time for that right now. How do you get upstairs? Shoot through them. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, he's ducking.
How do you get up there? to the body but I don't know if I could do that. Oh, so there were stairs this whole time? to do safe I don't know if I have time for that right now this fire is not settling down okay we got the run pass I hope I'm not being killed door control Okay, so I open the doors. Running past again. Okay, so what did I pick up from? I think that was a woman, yeah. What did I pick up from her? Nothing special about that. Really? She had nothing special? Um, what's this? There's nothing special about this struggle. I keep that toy. I might give that to, to Little Miss Cole. Hold up, man. That doesn't make sense. She had to have a gun. Oh, a Kodama. Uh, I'll take it. Okay, let's... Let's go, Sam. Storage, is there an exit? Where does this go? Button. No. Come on, there should be one right around here, right? The 
There's no power core. Okay, I, I gotta go. Wanted to open that door, but... in that office, right? Oh, this is the locked door. Okay, since we're here. I think these are one. Any ones? Okay. Let's do this the quick and dirty way. I think these are three. Any threes? Kind of easy, actually. Yeah, can I see a lock? I wonder. Drilling rig. Hey, you know what? I put it on my ship. I've seen a couple of those. Don't know what it is, but I'll check it out later. I thought this computer worked. Why would it? Oh. It's gotta be easy now, cause I already did the other one, right? Oh, made my first mistake. All that was in this office, I'm, I want like a computer terminal. Where's the ship? Let's get out of here. Where is the ship? Said that right. 
think so. What was this? What, so all this time there were robots inside of here? Be careful. Recalibrate and move combat. Hold on. IFF settings. Protect current user. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. So let's act activate. That would have made this a little easier, alright? The view was here all the time. Alright, let's go. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's what should I, that's why I should have come through the front door, right? Uh -huh. Alright, so industrial operations like this often have security. Alright, so that will bring us to the end of this video. I think I'll end it there. After I pause, I'll go play around with those uh, weapons. Um, hey, what's up? Need something, Gigi? No, I'm good. Did I pick up anything? Let me see. Yeah, this, there's nothing special about this. Advanced Kodama, right? So let me show you guys how the weapon bench works. Um, I'll just do it real quick. So I'll pick up, um, let's just get this one for now because I want to spend time. So this uh, mag storm, I'll probably, I'll advance it, I'll set it up. Let's get, let's out, get out there and do something, something new today, shall we? Uh, we just been doing some stuff. Alright, so this here, so let's look at it. Magazine and battery. Armor passing, yeah, it's really uranium, that's what we want. So it's very powerful. Internal high velocity here, trigger. Let's make it high velocity. Skin, oh, so this only, there's nothing so special about it. Alright, so, I'll give it to, um, Bart. Never mind. Hey, Captain. Hey, what's Need up? help with anything? No, I just want to give you something. Not a problem. Let's see if I have space. All right, so let's go to me. Weapons. Where is it? Uh, modified, advanced. So I guess it's good. The fire rate is pretty high. So give that to him. Then I got to switch over to him. And this the other stuff I gave him. Oh, I didn't even know I had, he had one of these. Uh, this one is it's just modified, so it's not that powerful. Uh, this, yeah, what I gave him. 350.12. This is 400, so this is more powerful. So, equip that on him. And so, if me and him go in the field, he'll be using this. <laughs> which is what I want. Well, okay then. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> In a long shot, that's sort of what I do back here. Alright. Um, <laughs> I don't want to wake you guys up just so I can go to sleep, so I'll just sit here and uh, sort of wait for you guys to wake up, and then I'll, um, I'll go to sleep afterwards. Alright, so see you guys in the next one.